The McElroy brothers are not experts, and their advice should never be followed. Travis insists he's a sexpert, but if there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? One, two, three, four. It's the start of something beautiful. A small acquaintance has blossomed and ripened into a precious friendship. I could have never seen what was coming for me. Hangs at the skate park, hangs by the beach. My life, it feels like. Welcome, my brother, my brother, me and advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. I'm your middlest brother, Travis McElroy. And I'm your sweet baby candy brother, Griffin McElroy. Oh, boy. Uh, what would you do if you watched a great film? <laughs> I'll tell you what, y'all have to answer that question this December when uh, Timothy Chalamet comes to theaters with... Wonka. He's a young Wonka. A young, he, sexy Wonka. A young, sexy Wonka sexy who Wonka. Fucks. More like Wanka. But we got a we got a <laughs> December release date for this movie. It's great. And Travis actually got a, a early version of the uh, the screenplay for this one, and the the line "more like Wanka" is yeah. in there three different times. Yeah, it's a uh, it calls back to itself uh, in yeah. a loop. So you actually uh, the first one's a callback to the last one, so you can yeah. watch the movie to in a cyclical manner and never have to stop watching. Yeah. I don't know. I listen. I hadn't I hadn't treated myself to a dip in on this. Uh, uh, this IMDb yet for Wonka. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If yeah, we Wonka. could just talk about this for a second. Do you guys know there's one man listed as Oompa Loompa? Yes, Justin. Sorry, Roy Deep. You're out. Deep uh, Roy, I believe you mean. Deep Roy. Roy Deep no, no, is evil. his lawyer. Yeah, oh, it's, it's cyclical, Griffin. It yeah, comes back. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Can I guess? I haven't looked at this yet. So, you're Travis, saying, you know, right? I know, so, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh... I'm going to guess. Uh, is it is it a little person actor? No, no, no. no. I'll give uh, you a that's... huge clue. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh, this actor was in the Dungeons and Dragons movie. It, uh, Hugh that Grant? is try, that is a really huge clue. <laughs> yeah. Is it Hugh Grant? Yeah, Griff. It's Hugh Grant as all the as the Oompa Loompa. Now we don't know if he's all of them. But so I'm far, he's the only he's one. All of them. I'm gonna say he's all of them. He's probably all of them. They all look like he's you. Probably can. all of them. Yeah. Hey. Um, um. And there's a guess who takes on the role of the priest for this one. I don't know what. I don't remember there being. Now that's huge... Rowan Atkinson. Mr. Bean himself is back as okay. the priest. The priest. <laughs> I don't. Is there a Jesusy <laughs> aspect to? Does is there a scene in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory where fucking Wonka goes to church and he's like, I keep, I have keep killing kids and I just can't stop. And the priest is like, Yeah, man, you need to stop. The Bible says don't do that specifically. <laughs> I, I just wait. I'm so excited uh, to see uh, Matthew Baden who I loved in Ghost, uh, was great in Horrible Histories. Uh, to see him embody the role of Fickle Gruber, is, I'm so excited. Oh, that's, that Fickle Gruber? That's him, huh? Yeah, they're doing a, it's a Cats crossover. So they got Fickle Gruber from the hip film Cats <laughs> to yeah. be over here in Wonka. So excited. And of course, given I know what you're thinking, right? Yeah. A lot of... Uh, and I'm not saying you are a hater, but what a lot yeah. of haters are thinking is, did we really need another version of the Charlie and Chocolate Factory story? Well, no, because this is a prequel yeah. uh, where we learn yeah. how Wonka meets the Oompa Loompas. So, and it's, it's also about what if he was young and hot. So, yeah. so, so spicy, like scalding yeah. hot. He's like, um, this is... This is my latest invention. I call it the Great Ass Wonka Bader. And it's like, what? Yeah, man. What did great you just say? Wonk like, did you say Great Ass Wonka Bader? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, Justin, yeah. that was yeah. too good, actually. That, that was, was actually, really good. we actually just got a letter in the mail that said that was too good. That was too good. That was huh. too good. That's it. I didn't think we had those. Guys, I know we've had a lot of fun here today. I still have not seen the new Spider-Verse movie. No. I would give fucking anything to watch this flick right now. Yeah. Anything. Spider-Verse or more Wonka? Than I need my next breath. You need Wonka more than Spider-Verse is what you're saying. Oh, in a heart. I would walk right past Spider-Man's bleeding corpse to, Whoa. to, to watch a trailer for this flick Did right Wonka here. kill Spider-Man? What's up, Danger? Oh, so here, uh, and tying into that, Justin, I hope that in this film they establish that the deal he has with the Oompa Loompas is uh, they will work for him if... He ensures them a certain amount of children sacrifices uh, per year. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what it. Maybe we've been putting the blame on the wrong entity in Wonka Incorporate. No, that's not it. He's, no, he's it's him. He loves yeah. it. He lives for it. Um, they may have started him on that path, but he is now. He is the Oompa new leader. Loompa. Get out while you can. This yeah. is a murdering children killing man. What, what did you say? Uh, Run. Um, run, run away! Why are you fuck out? Why he's coming back? He's coming back! Oompa so, loompa. Are you Hugh Grant? What are you? Yeah. Oh, right. I am. What? Okay. So we had towards the top of the was cast that was, Hugh Grant or Ringo Starr? It was Just really checking. good juice. All credited. At, ooh, Hugh Grant's credit is Oompa Loompa, but I also see Matt Lucas and Keegan Michael Key on here without their roles. So maybe they're all the Oompa Loompas. How do we? Oh. How would that grab us? There's like a like lot of, uh, most of the people on this IMDb list don't have credits? Huh. Yeah. Yet they include Fickle Gruber, which is interesting, yes. and Priest. Well, they didn't want, they didn't want, like, the audience uh, to, like, constantly be asking, what about Fickle Gruber? What about Fickle Gruber? What about Fickle Gruber? Where it dropped Fickle on us. He's getting his own character trailer. <laughs> <laughs> could be a could be an imaginary with Dr. Parnassus situation where they swap out Wonkas every 30 minutes or so. Oh. Something to think about. Something to think about. You got to swamp your Wonka. <laughs> swamp your Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> did you say swamp? I did. Swamp your swamp your Wonka. Swamp your Wonka. <laughs> That's what swamp, I'm saying. <laughs> swamp your Wonka. Swamp, swamp your Wonka, your Wonka donkey. the great ass Wonka painter. <laughs> Stop swamping your Donka over there. Swamping, that's hard to say. Swamp your Wonka. Swamp your Wonka, donkey. <laughs> Remember when uh, we were in Anakin and Padme had to go into the junk shop for Swamp Your Wonka? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Selling all that great stuff. Yeah. Love that. That was Love a funny that scene. scene. It's a funny, it's a funny scene. It has funny scenes. Yeah. You know, a lot of Star Wars stuff they let be funny because they're so concerned about all, all their incredible space magic and stuff. But, it's but that scene ends. where they go visit Swamp Your Wonka to buy C-3PO <laughs> a butt. Yeah. That and I love jizz that music. Scene. Love it. Yeah. yeah. When they bought uh, special truck nuts to put on C-3PO in Swamp Your Wonka's workshop. I love mm -hmm. that. And then they made it a part of, di that's what they're turning the Galactic Star Cruiser into, is Swamp yeah. Your Wonka's R2-D2 truck nut gift shop. Where you can Bicentennial Man C-3PO to give him yeah. truck nuts. Truck nuts, yeah. I am a scientist working in genetics and cell biology laboratory. Me too. Uh, we what? end up making... He does it on the side. I'll never oh. tell. We end up making a lot of weird stuff. I don't Ooh. want to. Can we? Okay. I want to know. Don't tell me that. <laughs> okay. I got enough to think about. All right. I think it'd be weirder if you were like, I work in a cell biology lab and we make just your run of the mill cells. Just cranking them out. It's more like a cell factory than anything else. We end up making a lot of weird stuff. Making cells glow green, for example. I'll Don't make my cells up. glow green. Nice try. No, thank you. I would actually nice take. Thanks. I would take that one uh, if I can uh, control it. I'll take that one. I'll often chat about my work to my parents over the phone when I visit them. My dad is always worried I will accidentally recreate the events of the movie The Blob. Yes, by mixing the wrong things together or pouring the wrong things down the drain. Yeah. How do I reassure my father that I will not be creating a giant ball of unstoppable ooze that will terrorize and slowly consume our fair city? That's from Blob Free in Boston. You know what? You know what, qu question asker? You don't think you will. You don't think you will. Yeah. But you no don't one know. wants to make the blob. Yeah. Like, in, like, no one's like, you know what I'm going to do today? Like, 
in the blob, I'm pretty sure they weren't like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's make the Let's blob. Let's make a blob. You know what? I think I'm ready, guys. Let's make the blob. Let's, Let's try make to make the, the blob. blob today. The other scientists are like, are you sure? Because it does. It gets bigger and bigger and like kills lots of people. Yeah, I think today is actually, I, I, I don't have anything else going on. I've I checked off everything week. else on the to-do list. It is blob time, blob. baby. And can now I just say- Now it's uh, time for the to-do list. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, of all the sci-fi film whoopsies, that you could do while ma- while trying to make a- a different science, the blob not the worst on the not the worst not the worst on the list. The I would rather you make a blob than like an Andromeda strain or uh, a stand a th- of the stand. Yeah, I'll come um, to a flubber. Uh, that wait, you would be... wait. Hold on. Would you rather have a flubber or a blob? Flubber, right? I'd, flubber. An, flubber. I'd rather have a blob. I'd rather have a blob because a Whoa. blob is like a no. No, listen. A blob is like a singular entity that just consumes, but you can like freeze it or like, there's so many different ways to stop the blob. Um, Flubber, if that gets in the hands of our enemies. Sure. The bl- the war has changed at that point. Like now, the that, whole yes. nature of ballistics and like uh, th- that, there's no, that is going to escalate things to a, a, a catastrophic degree. One blob. One blob, we can one take blob. That. That's at most yeah. gonna take out like one city, right? Before you're I like, a, okay, I, fine, whatever. I got a shop vac in the basement. And if a few of my neighbors also do, we can Ghostbusters up a blob right quick. But yeah, Flubber yeah. will kick off an arms race. That's a good point. But, Flu- but Flubber powered cruise missiles and stuff like, like that, that could be, that's huge for the nature of like mankind. Especially if we're talking about the Robin Williams Flubber, where if I remember correctly, they had like little personalities and they were like little that dittos. Sucks too. Oh, Travis, that's a good point. The Flubber was also was also sentient. So it's like yeah, the blob the Flubber was also. A yeah. Um, Ugh, science. Yeah. So anyway, we haven't said anything about the question, even a little. Did we I, here is my, it? I would suggest to your dad to harness the power of something that I invented called uh, reverse anxiety. And here's Ooh. how it works. Your dad I can't is, fucking wait to hear this. It's good. It, your dad is, is anxious about something that would be very scary for him, but is very unlikely. So I do that all the time because I got a general anxiety disorder. So here's what I do. I, as a form of like cognitive dissonance, I tell my brain, okay, if you're going to be afraid of that, you have to be afraid. You have to look forward to the exact inverse good thing that is just as likely to happen. Okay. If, I'm gonna, if your dad is going to be afraid of you making the blob, uh-huh. your dad also has to be jazzed about flash possibilities oh, probably not that one though i i mean no I, no no the I, critics agree the critics well, agree the critics are, <laughs> lo- the the critics reviews are, are in. loving this one <laughs> a film film uh, once th- what i like to call a schrodinger's film i don't know if it's out yet or not i haven't checked i don't know if dust. it exists or not yeah i ha- i read a bunch of really great reviews for it and i can't tell you if it's if it was a dream or not, because I'm still not <laughs> sure if it happened. Um, okay, so but I don't. I've never heard of like generalized jazzed disorder. It's hard to put up any contender in the ring with fucking bone saw of anxiety in there. Yeah, I guess you're gonna, gonna, I guess, it's a it's a trick that you play in your brains. Like if I'm if, dad, if you're gonna worry about that, you have to also worry that I'm gonna give myself like who, who's another lab one. Spider Man's like played. Who's yeah, like Spider-Man's who's like another out. lab uh, derived uh, Hulk? superhero? Hulk's Hulk? not a great power. Hulk is that's a burden. We don't need the Hulk. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's no, I'd rather have a bl- I'd rather, straight up. I'd rather have a blob than a Hulk. I'll say it. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Now I get that. At least a blob doesn't get pissed off. If you shoot the blob with one regular gun, it dies. <laughs> blob is so, okay, blob Justin. Is so slow, so slow. No, yeah. uh, no, uh, like opposable thumbs. There's so many ways to kill a blob. Pim yeah. particles, Justin. Pim Amazing. particles is good, right? Pim particles. Pim particles yeah. that you might accidentally invo- uh, make pim particles and be able to shrink down your jumbo sized box of junior mints sneaking in the movie theater. No questions asked. Yeah, awesome. right? Yeah. Now yeah. you're or excited. With them. Make your junior mints box much bigger. So now they're, they're senior satisfying. mints. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm Professor Dr. Mints. <laughs> I'm an adult man with bills. I'm uh, Junior Mintz's Bills. I'm Chris Mintz at the actor. <laughs> you could look forward. <laughs> I'm Chris Mintz Waltz. I'm an adult actor. <laughs> okay. Uh, you could just look forward to when you kill the blob. 
Yeah. That could be that could be the thing that would get me going. Like, yeah, it's going to be bad when the blob's here, but how good's it going to be when it's we gonna, kill the blob? It's going to pull the nation together. Frankly. If you it's, create the blob, you could very well end up being the guy that's in the military room, and you're mm-hmm. like, you don't understand. She's, She's pregnant. Blob. <laughs> it's not going oh, to work. I went the to Matthew. Blob. I went to Matthew Broderick in a Godzilla route. You went a different way. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. What does Matthew uh, Broderick and Godzilla say? They're like, oh, she's pregnant. I got bought a bunch of pregnancy tests and had Godzilla piss on him. And it turns yeah. out she's pregnant. All blobs are, blobs can bisect it off of themselves. And become to more blobs. They make more, more blobs. All blob. blobs are infinity pregnant. Yeah. All, all blobs, blobs are, are bastards. Pregnant. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Um, Thank you. That's also true. How about hey, another, you guys want another question? I have a really good submission for the wizard today that I would oh, love good. to dip into instead. Um, good, good, so this good. is Miles sent this in, and it is how. What's up, danger? Yeah, not pro, not that one, Miles. Um, so but this is, it is important because it is how to be a fan of Slipknot. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I how to be, what, a, how to be in, a Slippy. Uh, no, actually, Travis, their uh, affectionate name. The term maggot doesn't mean those icky little creatures. Well, it does, but it is also the name affectionately given to fans of the metal band Slipknot. End of description of the article. So we don't really know what we're in for here. I mean, I guess we do exactly because that does sort of give me a general tone setting for this WikiHow article. Okay. Um, I do want to send you guys a screenshot from the article. Maybe we can find a way to share it on our social because all the art in this one does look like a hastily made, like, uh, early aughts Christian oh. CGI cartoon about, like, the dangers of Halloween or something along those lines. It's, okay. Um, okay. Is this yeah. in Slack? Uh, I t- actually sent it to you as a text message just to make sure that you saw it. I know sometimes... Uh, okay. Other other okay, avenues good. get okay, tied yes, up. Okay, yes, good. And, There's a yeah. quality to this, and I can't explain the unqual- un- uncanny valley nature of it. I think it's like they're listening so intently that their eyes are closed. However, there's a quality to it that makes it seem like their eyes have been sealed shut by that some they, kind of terrible no magic. Eyes. Yeah, yeah. They, well, they did. They have, no, they have no eyes, but they must listen to Slipknot. Yeah. Step one: listen to metal bands other than Slipknot and appreciate their music. That's, That's huge. You gotta huge. walk huh. before you can. You gotta walk before you can. Is it, like, oh, yeah. you gotta you gotta deepen your palate. You know? Yeah, you must to understand the beautiful landscape of Slipknot. Um, this is. I assumed this, like most WikiHow articles, are approaching this from a f- like complete amateur level, right? I would consider right. myself on the ground floor, lowest imaginable rung on the ladder of listening to Slipknot and being a fan. Mm-hmm. Um, I couldn't be. Or I couldn't be more nascent in that transformation, right? But then the right. second step is buy Slipknot apparel such as shirts, hats, gloves, or wristbands. Show the world your musical affiliation. Yeah. Now, I still haven't listened to Slipknot at this point. Yeah. I've listened to a lot of their competitors. Mm-hmm. And I think I, I think I can probably guess what Slipknot's music's going to sound like. What do you um, think it's going to sound like, Griffin? Probably like a lot of... <laughs> Um, slip knot, slip, 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 slip. Hold on, let me put on some. I'll put some slip knot on right now. Gonna, slip let, the knot. Let me listen to slip knot. Hold on. Keep your grades. Up. Trav, don't listen to don't listen to slip knot before you've listened to other bands. It's too late. Ah, oh, it's too much. I wasn't oh, prepared. No, Travis is dying. My um, eyes have been sealed shut by the music. Ah. Dress like a metalhead, but don't be excessive with studs, wristbands, and belts. Are okay. Yeah, don't be. That's ghost. a s- sentence. So, man, I accidentally clicked in one of the Wonka IMDb, and now I'm stu- now I'm in that hole again. If you wear spikes into a mosh pit, chances are you'll stab somebody. Slipknot shirts and cool. accessories are available on the internet and most punk inspired stores, such as Hot Topic. That's the same bullet point. Great. Don't stab Great. anyone. You can buy Slipknot merchandise at Hot Topic and online shopping avenues. Um, there is no such thing as a poser. If you like the music, you like the music. If you don't, you don't. Now, Some true yeah. beauty. Now, hold on. There is an in-between there article where you don't like the music but pretend to, and that's what a poser is. Yeah, yeah. actually what a poser is is a person who hasn't listened to the band Slipknot that is decked H2T in Slipknot regalia, uh, who knows everything about the other big bands in the space, Mud, mud, mud Slap and... Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, that's the only one that comes to mind right now. Um, 
but tight knot. This is also tight knot. Uh, don't let being a maggot get in the way of what you have to do, such as school or work. Wait, what? <laughs> Keep your grades up. <laughs> incorporate them you're a maggot so bring maggot to school but don't let your grades fail because of your taste in music do good in school yeah slipknot, slipknot. that's it what john, the slipknot. The john slipknot says do good john in school slipknot. i can't believe that, that even this article has <laughs> to know. keep your grades up uh respect it's other like people's they're worried that, you know what it's like it's like every one of these is written like a your parent has to read it first yeah i'm gonna yes. before you expose yourself to this article i want to make sure it's it teaches our shares our values. Well, but what if they're moshing and they stab someone? Okay, no, they covered it. They covered yeah, it. They it's covered cool. that. Cool. That one's good. Uh, defeat the stereotype of maggots being whiny teenagers who never take a shower. That's awesome. You look over at the valedictorian in your your social studies class in their like fucking plaid shirt and their khakis yeah. and their yeah. uh, their little glasses and they have some earbuds in and you're like, hey, uh, Derek, what are you listening to? And he's like, oh, Slipknot. They're gonna think like, wow, I thought everyone who listened to Slipknots was a whiny teenager who never takes a shower, but no. you've defeated that stereotype. And he just yells out the famous thing that all Slipknot fans sort of like yell. Like a, yeah, they go, you know, like, they go, who? <laughs> They go, who a stank? They say the name of a different band, which is Hoover Stank. <laughs> That's that, well, not a lot of people know this. Hoover Stank is actually a Slipknot cover band. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and you got to say it like you're saying Cookie Crisp. Is yeah. Also who who a stank? stank? Find your favorite band member. Don't just choose Paul because you both play bass or Mick because you think he has the most badass mask. Why can't those be he... the reason? I think that, well, you don't want to be a poser, Travis. Um... That's so important. Uh, who else is in this band? We got Paul on bass, obviously. We got Mick, who's on mask. always wearing the best masks. <laughs> who's on mask. Yeah, just like. Oh, it's sorry, an ASMR, ASMR band. band. Yeah, Not a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an ASMR hoop stank cover band. Not a lot of people know that about Slipknot. Uh, it fucking shreds, though. Learn an instrument. Drums and guitar are the most popular, but that doesn't mean they're right for you. You might have to experiment with several instruments before finding the right one. Never give up. In I order to Slipknot. appreciate, uh, to be a fan of Slipknot, I have to yeah. learn to play an instrument? And not an obvious one. If you, I, it's Travis, you've... You've changed your whole the trajectory of your life. Travis doesn't do podcasts anymore. He's in Juilliard learning the marimba because he loves Slipknot so fucking much. I should have read ahead. I started at the beginning and I knocked him out step by step. I own so much Slipknot merch. I kept my grades up. I showered a yeah. bunch, a bunch. And then it got to this. I am not good at instruments. Yeah. But I, start- I have invested... Thousands of dollars into Slipknot yeah. merch. Slipknot, uh, do a little research. Their first demo tape in 1996 was called Mate, Feed, Kill, Repeat. That was the name of their first demo tape. That's like fucking. In 2022, they released uh, The End so far. So you've gone from like super <laughs> hardcore to like what the fucking eagles would call <laughs> they're one of their albums like are you guys winking through the masks on that one like hard to tell because hard masks, to tell but there's the a lot of hubbub about face. slipknot people love these guys they love these dudes how much do you think they went back and forth deciding the order of those things or is like oh. should it be like feed and then you have the energy to mate and then you kill well that sounds like you're killing your mate uh, yeah, yeah there's point. no okay. good uh, there any other organization of those words. I mean, the words themselves, not great. Any They've chosen, I think, the best sort and of And you don't want to put kill before mate because yeah, no, no, no. or feed. All right, what so if it was hey, just feed, 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 feed live, feed, laugh, love, repeat. Love, feed, <laughs> live, laugh, love, mate, feed, kill, repeat. <laughs> okay, guys, now, guys, guys, mate, <laughs> feed, kill, the Lawrence brothers. <laughs> <laughs> mate, feed, kill. <laughs> No, we gotta figure okay, it out. Okay, mate, feed, kill. Chris I don't Pine, kill. Chris Hemsworth, <laughs> Chris Evans. I don't want to mate or feed or kill any of this. We can't do the Lawrence. Guys. The Lawrence brothers are now our podcasting brothers in arms. Yeah, and we have to respect. We have to God, respect I do and appreciate anything them. to get these guys on the show. Oh my god, yes. But 
So I'm not going to do mate feet. But I won't do one. It's got to be all three of the Lawrence brothers. I want brothers. a six, a six hander, two family <laughs> podcast. Absolutely. Get at us. If you I want the over talk to be untenable. It will be so bad. Like um, a okay. nightmare part of the show. Like a Guys, nightmare there's part. So much more good stuff in this article. Start okay. a band. What a better way to become a maggot. What a better way to become a maggot. Are you asking me? Uh, step nine. This is all step nine is. Go to concerts. Yeah. Step 10, buy or make a mask. There are masks on sale on the internet for around $35. You just could also about, be, I just priced them this afternoon. You could also be creative and buy a Halloween mask and make it to match your personality. For example, Jim, apparently another member of Slipknot, wanted a gesture mask to symbolize that part of himself, but also to remain scary. Hey guys, good. these masks are upsetting. Yeah, that's the whole point. Is it's but, trying to push your buttons, but they're not. It's trying, trying to get you straight too. to the fear zone, Travis. Oh man! Yeah. Oh boy! The oh guys, mix mask is the coolest, hands yeah. down. Um, this one, step eleven: don't let other people tell you what you should or shouldn't do, unless, unless. unless. it's a police officer or person of authority. In that case, you should do everything they tell you to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, or, I guess, presumably, because we don't want to, the author of this article that you're reading currently, the two people you can trust yeah. are me, this author, uh, and the police. And <laughs> the any police. person, and not just police, Justin. Any person of authority. Anybody with a badge. <laughs> if they're in control of you, you do what they tell. You do what they say, absolutely. Understand that people may be intimidated. You may be intimidating to people. Oh, fuck. What? Oh, no, sorry. No, knot. hey. Oh, shit. That obedient kid's mask. Holy shit. He scared me so bad. Me to do. Is, he um, wearing, Mag- is he wearing the Craig mask? That's the weirdest one. Um, maggot is a way of life. If you see another maggot walking down the street, give him or her a nod or yeah. even compliment them. Good. Good. Ma- <laughs> maggots Slip, are a cult like- not right? Slipknot, yes. Not. Yes, me too. Maggots are a cult like following of the band. Treat all maggots as your friend and be kind and listen to any cop. Keep- <laughs> Step 14. <laughs> Come on, girl. Step 14. This. Step 14, keep Slipknot alive. <laughs> okay, at wait, at any on. cost. That's, we're gonna, I feel like we should do an ad break. <laughs> like, <laughs> what are we talking about keep Slipknot alive? Yeah, I do no feel like we, we need to devote some time to this. <laughs> There's not that much more to this article. There's not but that much I more to this I just want to talk about this. So <laughs> Slipknot, keep Slipknot alive. This is obviously, I think this person does mean that like, in the case of uh, uh, an assailant. Let me finish. I'll finish the bullet point. Disturb the peace and cause old people to roll their eyes. Remember, don't get discouraged by the thought of Slipknot dying. Even if they break <laughs> up, their spirit will always remain. Okay, so, okay, so. One, I, I hope none of those old people were in a position of authority. Yeah. Because I yeah. am going to have to to, to defend Hey, them. fuck you. I was a cop. Oh, I'm so, oh, I'm so, so sorry. sorry. I'm so sorry. You have authority over me. Can I do something to help? What you you keep obviously you want to protect him from assailants. I like yeah. to think that I do that for anybody, but I do that above and beyond for Slipknot. You or have does to. it? I get, or but I think what it means is like clap your hands, right, to believe yeah, in. Slipknot. Oh, like keep like, him alive in your heart. Keep Slipknot alive in your heart every day. Yeah, yeah. like like Scrooge learned to do. Right. I'll treat every day like it's Slipknot day. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, is there still that giant mask in the window? Boy, the one with it. all the spikes and the gimp zipper. Oh, a wonderful boy, a clever, obedient boy. Listen, do this for free because I'm in a position of authority. Don't Absolutely, sir. Anything for a fellow maggot. <laughs> Roll tide. Is that right? Is that what we do? Oh, so close, sir. Hook so close. Em, right? Okay. Oh, sir. Uh, Research Slipknot, read their biographies, explore websites, know your band, collect all the music, try to find rare videos, hidden tracks, unreleased songs, and other mysterious things. You know, other mysterious things is very general, but I uh, agreed. Get the commemorative yeah. plates. 
Now, and tell me this, the article doesn't say this, but it says collect all the music. But to this point, I still haven't listened to any of it. Is well, you're it not okay? ready to yeah. have it. They didn't they didn't get that going again. They didn't they didn't uh reactivate that uh <laughs> that that particular uh, facet of the fandom. Step 16, show respect to other maggots. We are one big family. You. Thank mm. you. That's all of them. Keep Slipknot alive, everyone. Please, um, now more than ever. Yeah. Um, the other Slipknot albums, by the way, are titled Slipknot, Volume 3, The Subliminal Verses, All Hope is Gone, The Gray Chapter, We Are Not Your Kind, The Insofar, and Iowa. Huh. All right. How, hey, Iowa, how does that feel? Because to me, that's really weird company to have my state in. Is like the end of all things. Death is coming. The grayness overwhelms us. Also, Ames is fun, but the rest, is, I don't know, Iowa. It was a Just collaboration Iowa. with Sufjan Stevens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, slay the devil. Come on, spoof spikes on your face. Eat that vomit, puke it down your mother's throat. Listen to the cops now. They have the authority. They do all the laws now. You have to keep your grades up. If Suf John Stevens is asked by the cops to do something, mm -hmm. do you think Suf John Stevens will be more disobedient than a slipknot, a practicing slipknot fan, an orthodox slipknot well, fan? Well, now that makes the assumption, Justin, that Suf John Stevens is not a an observant <laughs> slipknot fan. We can't he make any be. juice. It's 2023, pal. We can't make any assumptions about whether or not people are maggots and slipknot fan diehard devotees or not. Uh, that's true. Uh, no, that's I'm true. actually I'm kind of a lapsed maggot. Um, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm I fell going off. through a sort of um, Slipknot deconstruction right now. Uh, I mean, I go I, to Slipknot on Christmas and Easter, but like that's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. Uh, let, is that is there more Griff? That's it. That's it. That's, that's it. I mean, right, what what see. more do you need? Let's head on over to the money zone. Let me tell you about bomb. I'm talking about Bombus. I wear oh them right God. now, baby. These are really good ones. Oh, I'm wearing Bombus, not the socks or the shirts. Oh, oh me underwears. Oh. That's right. And are they comfortable? Think... Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, they are. Thank you, sir, for asking. I respect you. <laughs> Thank I you so much. That you asking me that? I'm so comfortable. Um, Justin's feet are comfortable. Uh, I don't know about Griffin. I I, I don't talk to Griffin about. What he's I've wearing, got a but. pretty light all day carry going right now, so I'm not uh I'm not working with any uh any bombas at the moment. I did I, I when I took my son to school this morning. You know, I slapped him on, but when oh, I get yeah. home, uh, I like to feel the carpet well, sometimes. I understand. You like to you like to shuffle your feet and then touch like whatever metal you can around just to feel alive. I understand, sure, sure. man. Yeah, and yeah, listen, yeah. every item is seamless, tagless, and effortlessly soft. And that's absolutely true. That is, uh, as the kids might say, and I want to make this more relatable as pocket, no cap. Yeah, no cap. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh they got these thick little tabs right where your ankles would touch your shoes. I love that. Protect, protects you from blisters. I love these. Okay, so Justin, I was trying to make it fucking cool and hip and relatable. I said no cap, and then you're like, and I know you're worried about blisters. And your coins are going <laughs> to be oh, oh, that's so good. It's going to protect against sciatica. Justin, <laughs> god damn it. God. Okay. Okay. Ugh. And the best thing is, Socks, underwear, and t-shirts are the number one, two, and three most requested items in homeless shelters. That's why for every comfortable item you purchase, Bombas donates another comfy item to someone in need, which is amazing and cool. No cap. There you we can't, go. That's, I don't actually no like fuck, it. No fuck, man. Okay. Go to bombas.com slash mybrother and use code mybrother, one word, for 20% off your first purchase. Bombas.com slash mybrother, code mybrother. Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> Square you space. Absolute miscreant. <laughs> you have failed me as a brother and a collaborator. Squarespace, though, hasn't. It's never failed me. It's always been there for me in my time of greatest need. And when that need is to build a website, because they're the all in one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website. 
Engage with your audience and sell anything, your products, content you create, and even your time. I have used Squarespace before to make many websites that I didn't ultimately um, pay much attention to after the fact. Yeah. But sometimes I'll dip in and they're still working. A lot of the other web platforms I've used when I built a website that I lose interest in almost as soon as I finish making it, I come back a week later and some there's just some guy on there and he's like taking it down. He's like, I got, un, he's I got it for you, it. Ch- chief. I'll take care of your website. No problem. Yeah. And I don't know who that guy is or why he charges it's everyone so much money. It's Zuckerberg. Who? It's Zuckerberg. I'm so sick of that guy getting in my yeah, fucking business. Yeah. I can't wait to buy his $3,500 cool glasses for cool dudes, though. Mm-hmm. That's going to feel good. So I think that you, that's Apple. Didn't Zuckerberg he doesn't, buy Apple? He probably has. He probably does some Apple stuff, though. Yeah, right? Like, he probably he worked two jobs <laughs> like a lot this of way. us. Let's put it this way. They'll take his calls, okay? Yep. Yeah, for sure. Capiche? <laughs> Create pro-level videos effortlessly. The Squarespace Video Studio app helps you make and share engaging videos to tell your story, grow to your audience, and drive sales, and keep your grades up. Squarespace Ooh. has powerful blogging tools to share stories, photos, videos, and updates, categorize, share, and schedule your posts to make your content work for you instead of the other way around for once. I'm yes. so sick of working working for my content. Um, I want it. To, I want to switch that whole thing around on its ear. All websites yes. are optimized for mobile. Content automatically adjusts so your site looks great on any device. Um, so you got to go to squarespace.com slash my brother for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use offer code my brother to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. My fellow graduates, for 500 episodes, my podcast, The JV Club with Janet Varney, has gathered story after story of all the scandalous things we've done throughout our childhoods. Wait, what's happening? Stories like how Jamila Jamil survived a horrific house party and she was on crutches. This is great. Or how Hal Lublin learned a Shakespearean monologue in his pajamas. This is not the speech we approve. Without your love and life tragedies, there would be no podcast. In fact, I'll have an exclusive look at how Maggie Lawson's mom confronted her after a sneaky basement meetup with her crush. Spill the tea, JV. Security! Uh, uh, listen to the JV Club with Janet Varney Thursdays on Maximum Fun! Class of forever! Parenting. It's hard, but don't worry, you're not alone. Belly up to the low bar with one bad mother and let us remind you that fine is good enough. They want to climb on different things. And how am I supposed to keep them both from dying? (laughs) There is a right way to do this. And if I can figure out that right way, I'm going to be a good parent. So that is not a thing. So join us each week and let us tell you that you are doing a good job. You can listen to One Bad Mother on Maximum Fun or wherever you get your podcasts. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, man. I want to slip. Not. Not. I want to munch. Squat. Do you guys listen to Munch Not? Welcome to Munch Not. It's a podcast within the Devil's Stream. And I'm so excited to be here with you. Save it for two episodes. Hold on. the end so far. Um, uh, to tell you, I, I, I've been waiting for like a big story, to, but there there's so many smaller stories that are slipping through the cracks, slip nodding through the cracks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that I I did want to just hit you all with some quickies. Is that okay, dude? I love I love a munch not roundup. It is it is my one of my favorite iterations of this. Crush year. crush crush your cookie cravings with Baskin Robbins' new flavor of the month cookie monster ice cream. Is it mm. blue? It's blue. Oh, okay. Then I'm sold. Yeah. Fuck yeah. It's got a mix of chocolate sandwich cookie pieces, chocolate chip cookie pieces, and a cookie dough batter flavored swirl. Each scoop is creamy, crunchy, chewy, and fantastically blue. With hunks of fur in it. No. No. But here's the thing. Here's the thing about it. They don't mention Sesame Street at all. Mm. In this. Okay. So Baskin Robbins are just like, why is it blue? We'll never tell. Like, it's, you're talking about the Cookie Monster, an adult man from Sesame Street, that you're just stealing his whole thing, and Mm. you're just going to call it Cookie Monster. That doesn't seem like it should be able to be happening. Happening? I think also Sesame Street is public domain, because it's, we all pay for it. 
Yeah. Like it's all of our, like we could oh, do an Elmo point. thing because we all pay for it. That's it. That's actually a And it's really just like a real place. Like I could call something like Chicago Crunch, right? And yeah. that's fine because it's just like- We could do an Dr. episode City. of just all of us doing Cookie Monster voices and there's literally nothing that the Sesame Street company, it's not even a company because like we pay for it. No, it's a street. I got, um, I got, I got a new character called Clipping Cookie Monster. Oh, that sounds good. like this. No. <laughs> He's really funny. He does all parody songs. He, yeah. Everyone loves him. Um, here's another just like quickie. Krispy Kreme is an, expanding its C Sweet. S W E E T. Yeah. Via search for fan to serve as the brand's first ever chief donut dreamer. Wait, they don't already have one? No. no we there have been three. No- there have been no dreams allowed in there. Um, well, no, 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 there have been, but none have really risen to the top, it sounds yeah. like, to become the chief donut dreamer. It's just been a loose miasma of donut dreams. Yeah. As donut lovers continue to enjoy the return of Krispy Kreme's fan faves, the brand is expanding its C-suite, accepting applications for the new role of chief donut dreamer. Now, this sounds like a press release, Justin, but it also kind of sounds like a job posting. Is this a real job with like responsibilities? It sa- if it doesn't list salary, folks, don't apply for this job. Yeah. It says is- you can apply with quotes via social media. And they plan the to make the new donut flavor. Th- and then you can come up with a fan favorite donut. Our fans know. So Chris wait, because- do you work for free? It's saying like, yeah, give us, hey, we're fucking out of ideas. If you could just give us the ideas for no uh, pay, no thank you. No yeah, thank they just want to hire you to come up with great donut. What if they get one of the great donut dreamers of our generation? But you can, uh, they'll make your donut. They'll do, they legally have to do whatever you tell them to do. Um, and you'll be, you'll be selected via a recipe of passion for Krispy Kreme, donut dream creativity, and quality of application. So uh, keep an eye out on social media for those donut dreamer applications. Let's Listen, see, I've, we, could, we, could, we could smash this, yeah, yeah. right? Like it's it's not uh, ethical for us to bring the tremendous weight of our uh, of our online success down in this manner. But I think any one of us could be the chief donut dreamer because I have some big, big, big ideas. See, that's interesting, Griffin, because I was going to make the suggestion of like, I don't want that level of responsibility, but, and I'm not even sure if Twitter exists still, but if like you could get on social media and tweet like whatever combination, it's, you know, pineapple and crushed up Oreos or whatever, but it's always the McElroy. Did you say Boreos? It's borax. You just it's crushed up uh, (laughs) pineapple and borax and it's called the McElroy, but it's always called the McElroy. These are bow nuts. I'm the chief bonut dreamer. I'm the chief bonut dreamer here at <laughs> Duncan or wherever. My name's Willy Wonka, and I've got some wild ideas for donuts. <laughs> I've got some wild fucking wild ideas. I'm just checking here. So far, ac- according to this hashtag, uh, we, we got two applicants so far. Okay, so if we so- all applied, we've already made it more than half the chance. If we if I if our audience all applies and all their ideas are like here's my idea for a bonut it's going to have a 100 dollars in it we could destroy this company overnight. Yeah. Yeah. Let's everybody apply. Come on, we could hey, let's just use this hashtag. <laughs> no, we let's this use, is bullying on a corporate level and that's actually right. really good. But yeah, no, one good. person can We came have up to with respect that. No, people saying, with authority. Guys. No, I'm just saying everybody apply and it'll be a fun place for people to swap donut ideas. <laughs> And then one of us, one of our people will win. Um, and it's just a fun place to swap down. Okay, KFC is serving up the mother, or they did, um, serves up free nuggets with a Mother's Day meal. Um, mm. and the, yeah. Along with 12, you'll get 12 all new KFC nuggets for free. By the way, if you haven't tried them, they are choice. I don't uh, want old nuggets. Two large home style sides, it doesn't matter. But you're getting this. The meal also comes with a free downloadable Mother's Day card available in both English and Spanish, which will be emailed to customers at the email address provided when ordering the meal. So just get some chow and dox your mom and we'll <laughs> real send quick. Her, real, <laughs> real quick, quick dox your get mom. Get some of KFC's mother's nuggets and dox your mom. Uh keep Dox your mom alive. and swamp your walk. <laughs> 
<laughs> swamp. Not only well, is your Mother's Day meal covered with something for everyone, but mom's little nuggets can express their love and appreciation <laughs> for all she does. <laughs> Hey, and then I swear to God, guys, the next fucking paragraph is this quote from Nick Chavez, the CMO of KFC. Moms love their little nuggets, both their kids <laughs> and their fried chicken. Are you fucking sure with Are this, Are you Nick? for real? The KFC the nuggets. Next, are, the next line should have been, sorry about the little nuggets thing. Uh, we didn't say <laughs> it out we loud. Said it twice in a row. It sucked. The KFC Nuggets of Appreciation meal makes it easy for her to enjoy both with a meal the whole family will love this Mother's Day. With new KFC nuggets included for free, it's KFC's way of showing appreciation for moms everywhere. Mm -hmm. The average mom spends 97 hours per week on parenting, what? according to a study conducted by what? KFC. The average mom? Wait, the average mom? That means the that there's moms out there delivering way more than that? Right. That, yes. I. Yeah, by my... By my math, this means that the average mom spends all waking hours parenting. That uh, can't be yeah, right. Yeah, that's what? You spend about 100 plus waking hours. You're, I mean, yeah, that actually feels right to me yeah, uh, if I'm thinking right about me. it. Good. That's But the that's average mom? Out. You're telling me those moms that have like kids that are 32 years old and do maybe four hours of parenting a week are balancing out the moms doing 278 hours of parenting a week. <laughs> yeah. Like, what are you talking about? That's impossible. Yeah, our, with 13 hours, no, sorry, 14 hours a day average, we're taking out, and once you get into the school year, there's a good six hours there that we're chucking back in. So that gets us to 20 hours, really. Where are, they, like, the, there are some moms that are really going above and beyond the call. I think our nation's uh, uh, non-moms need to step up. To wow. To in the all plate. regards. There it wow. is. Sorry. Sorry to say it. Uh, it's KFC's way of showing appreciation for, for moms everywhere. So um, they're going to make it really, they're going to make it really fast. If you want to enjoy a fast, satisfying meal for Mother's Day, you can get your hands on a limited time digital offer by placing a quick pickup order at participating locations of the KFC mobile app. You can then schedule your order. Okay. You can uh -huh. schedule your order starting May 10th through May 14th. And after you place your order, you head to your local KFC restaurant, park in a dedicated VIP parking spot, awesome. and go inside where the order will be hot, ready, and waiting on the quick pickup shelf. Happy KFC Mother's will Day. will do anything to get you out of here as fast as possible. If you just slow down outside, they'll fucking just huck it right through yeah. the front door at you. Happy Mother's last, Day. Last but certainly not. Happy Mother's Day. I got you fast chicken. You need Last to go pick it up, though, because I can't drive. I can't drive, Mom. Check Take your me. email. You have 8,000 offers from the colonel. <laughs> this just in. Pizza Hut has launched the pickle pizza. Ooh. Yeah. Pizza Hut announced a new culinary creation, the pickle pizza. Yeah. Building on the recent... <laughs> building on the recent resurgence of pickles. Yeah, I thought they were out for a while, man. <laughs> I thought we were done with pickles, but they're apparently back. I'm just saying I heard the words pickle and extinct said in the same sentence a lot. Pizza Hut is yeah. taking this trend to new heights with its own twist on the pickle phenomenon by adding the sour, tangy food. Like, you don't need I to I love say, this sour, tang sour tangy mm. food. Mm. I love you this guys sour, tangy these? food. What's what have up you with done these to these cucumbers? They're so sour tiny, and tangy. These tiny, flavorful Frisbees are really hitting the spot. So, in case you don't know what they also didn't are. create this, this Wait, makes pizza pickle pie has existed before this. No, okay, this okay, makes, Mr. This pickle makes pie. Pizza Hut the first national quick service pizza restaurant to serve pickle pizza, solidifying the brand at the forefront of culinary trends and innovation. Thanks this did pizza it. Pizza. This did it. This, this was the final. Finally, they're the solidified. New, the new Pizza Hut pickle pizza. Starts with a hand-tossed crust, sauce with buttermilk ranch, and top with cheese. Crispy breaded chicken breast seasoned with a kick of Nashville hot seasoning and sliced white onions, and then loaded with spicy dill pickles and a drizzle of buttermilk ranch on top. What is those, those, those sure? Get those onions off there. Get those onions off there. I would shred that up. I would fucking annihilate Griffin, that. Get you those heard onions about off the there. two layers of buttermilk ranch, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's the that's it's a textural Pizza, thing. It's like Pizza a tiramisu. Hut? 
Pizza Hut, you're simply using pizza as a platter at that point to serve pickles yeah. and fried chicken. Available yeah. for a limited time only while supplies last. You Which will be a while. <laughs> yes, <laughs> can order the are new gonna... pickle pizza for $17.99 at the Pizza Hut located on 932 8th Avenue in New York City, June okay. 9th through June 11th. Can you all fuck off? Wait, with this? No. seriously. June 9th through June 11th while supplies last. At that one Pizza Hut. Mm hmm. That's Let's gonna be make great. A what a fucking party. Pickles That's have taken awesome. social media by storm, with creators showcasing different ways to incorporate pickles into recipes on TikTok. If they have to tell you that, doesn't it sound like they're defending it a little bit? Not a like little. we found we found uh, several cargo freighters <laughs> full of pickles that we were supposed to use at one of our different restaurants. So here you go. One of the other Yum brands was supposed to use these. Uh, so that's, that's heartbreaking. Um, but Penny Shaheen, the head of food innovation over there, says, with our new pickle pizza, we're tapping into the latest food trends while also putting culinary thought into how they come to life on a pizza. Hmm. Huh. Not good thought. Not what? good culinary thought. Not culinary innovation. Just culinary, I guess, pickles? Yeah, that's a thought. You that's had also, it and you've manifested it. That's not a Our, selling point to say, hey, us, a restaurant, thought about food? When we well, made the very, something. The very next line is, our recipe is all about great flavor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, man, sure. Good, yes, good. Yeah, bold. Our re this recipe is all about bitter, cloying flavor. Uh, <laughs> we went all uh, in on bitter on this one. You guys are going to love this it. This one's bitter, and you're going to be wild. You're just going to be wild for these. Um, God. Um... Uh, I planned a surprise birthday trip for my best friend and I to go to Victoria, Canada. Uh, unfortunately, my dog ate my passport uh -huh, only a few months before the trip. I applied for a new one with the U.S. government, but it won't be done in time for her birthday. I still have my old passport, but there are a few good-sized bites taken out of it. Brothers, how do I convince Canada to let me in? That's from Passport Pooch Panic in Portland. How big I assume are the it's bites? Like yeah, well, we don't, We there's no saying. Um, if they're little cute nibbles, they're going to let you in. Don't worry about that. Don't worry they, about that. As long as it's a, not on the picture or the barcode. There's a lot of extraneous pages in there that no one knows what they're really for. Um, yeah. And uh, listen, I've never been to Canada. I have been to Canada. Wait a minute. I went to Canada. What a roller coaster this paragraph has that been. Was that well, was fun. It, 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 what I remember going... Pretty lax. <laughs> I don't know how chill, honestly. I don't know yeah. how it's changed in the meantime. But there was a I lot mean, of like, yeah, man, go. I think yeah, we told ahead. the story about Griffin driving us, driving us into Canada, and they asked, "Do you all have any um, guns?" And Griffin said, "No." And you have to understand, we we're in a commercial trucking lane because we were going to do business in Canada. So the window was very much higher than Griffin. So he's kind of looking up at this guy adoringly. And this can, this Canadian man says, "Do you have any guns?" And Griffin says, "No." And then he says, "Do you have any drugs or alcohol?" And Griffin looks at the back of the van and says, "Do we?" Yeah, that was a fun bit for all uh, parties in attendance. But then yeah. I he, said no, and he appreciated even those the of us that were pretty stoned at that exact moment. <laughs> yeah, that moment, and he, sure. Yeah, I also remember being asked uh, how many people are in the vehicle and we said like nine or something because it was like a yeah lot when of we're us. on tour man that number is so fucking hard to pin down and then he said okay passwords please and i was in the front seat so just griffin and i handed him passwords and he was like no i need like for everybody and for we were like people, oh please. uh yeah <laughs> okay and then i just and then i just panicked and gunned it and we're not allowed to go back to canada now uh, uh, we did our show, ki fucking kicked Vancouver's ass, but that was it. No more. We can't, unfortunately. Uh, according to the U.S. government, a passport is considered damaged and may not be used if the passport has been materially changed in physical appearance or composition or contains a damaged, defective, or otherwise non-functioning chip or it includes unauthorized changes, obliterations, entries, or photographs, has observable wear or tear that renders it unfit to use as a travel document and the department either takes possession of the passport or sends a written notice to the bearer. So it does seem to me like you're going to have a tough, this is a tough road to hoe. I, think, I don't love that there's chips in these things. 
I don't love, love that the that. government can Huge like no surprise there have me on like some sort of uh, registry or something with yeah, my but, chip. No thanks. Can't you just? I'm gonna pop like, that out actually. Just give pop the that guy chip out real quick, Griff. When you get to the border, just tell him you'll be back. Just say like I'll be back. Promise. Here's here's a, here's. Oh, this is expired. Sorry, my passport's expired. I didn't know oh, that. No. Griff, you gotta go, bud. The dog, my dog ate the chip. Try and scan it through its tummy if you want, and you hold up yeah. the pup, that sweet puppers with his cute little toe beans. That, but that, uh, <laughs> I'd really actually just like to go in if I could. I'd like Canada. to thank you if I may. They love Americans up there. Um, Can't get enough. They'll just probably, they'll just probably let you slide on there. No They'll problem. let us in anywhere. Do you remember uh, President Bartlett said that whole thing about how we can walk anywhere? Uh, unperturbed because we're citizens of America. You remember he made that big speech? Yeah. And you that remember? weirdly, like, xenophobic, like, wildly, like, nationalistic uh, speech he did in that one episode where he's like, we're Americans and we can do whatever the fuck we want. And everyone was like, whoa. Okay. What? That's probably, that's probably in season five or later. You remember? Yeah, season five. Hey, listen. Uh, yeah? Justin? Yeah? Next week. Next week. We're going to be in Raleigh and Richmond. That can't be right. Hell yeah. yeah. It's the 20 Sun and Sea Surf the Vibe Tour coming to your house. If your house is the theater we're going to be at in Raleigh or Richmond. Uh, June 23rd, Raleigh, North Carolina, doing My Brother, My Brother and Me. June 24th in Raleigh, doing The Adventure Zone. Uh, we're going to be playing Sexy Battle Wizards. Uh, so Justin Griffin and Dad are going to be some Sexy Battle Wizards. Uh, so check cool. that out. Uh, and can't then... Wait. June 25th, we're in Richmond, Virginia, doing My Brother, My Brother, and Me. Uh, coming up, we've got shows in San Diego during San Diego Comic-Con, uh, doing Adventure Zone and My Brother, My Brother, and Me on June 21st and 22nd. July. July 21st and 22nd, San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, August 31st, we're in Seattle doing Adventure Zone. September 1st, we're in Seattle doing My Brother, My Brother, and Me. Uh, we're also going to be in New York during New York Comic-Con. October 12th, doing Adventure Zone at New York Comic-Con. Uh, October 13th, uh, doing My Brother, My Brother, Me, New York Comic Con. The tickets for the Seattle shows go on sale Friday, June 16th at noon local time. And the New York Comic Con uh, shows will require a badge to attend those shows. Uh, there will be badge free tickets available to watch via streaming. Badges for New York Comic Con are available for pre sale now. General sale starts June 21st on sale dates for individual show tickets to be announced. So keep an eye on our socials. All that information, bit.ly slash McElroy Tours. This week, me and Travis are going to be at AwesomeCon here in D.C. We're going to do photos and signings and panels and all kinds of stuff, and you can get your passes at bit.ly slash AwesomeCon McElroy's. That helps us out when you when you do that. Come say hi. It'll be great to see you. We'll see you there. Um, thanks to Montaigne for the use of our theme song, My Life is Better With You. Um, that is, I mean, it's the only sonic bath I need, but just to hedge our bets, for our friends, our friends at home, um, let's provide. We really mucked up the works this week, so let's just sort of clear the pipes out a little bit with a nice healing, a healing sonic bath. Oh wait, can I say something real quick? Uh huh. I'm, I wanted to do an announcement. You guys were just like chucking on through. Would that yeah. be okay? Can I just say real? Yeah, quick? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, yeah, sure, 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 sure. I, maybe Sydney can you work the announcement into the Sonic Bath? No, I'd rather not. Sydney and I directed the SpongeBob musical. It's going to be at the uh, Ritter Park here in West Virginia. Uh, you can get tickets at bit.ly forward slash SpongeBob WB. Um, and it's going to be the last three weekends in June. Um, and, you know, the last one kind of crosses off over into, into the next month. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, uh, that's how, it, it's how dates and weekends and stuff work. It's how dates and yeah. weekends work. The June sixteenth, June twenty third, June thirtieth. Those three weekends, tickets uh, uh, go on sale at six. Gates open six thirty. Pre shows at seven. Spum jobs at eight. It's really cute. We worked really hard on it. And if you could come see it, that'd be great. Thanks. That's all. <laughs> My name is Justin McElroy. I'm Travis McElroy. I'm Griffin McElroy. It's been my brother, my brother, me. Kiss your dad square on the lips.
MaximumFun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Audience supported.